Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to do challenge number 20 from the intermediate section, Everything Be True. So let's jump into it and see what we have to do for this challenge. Check if the predicate is truthy on all elements of a collection. Remember, you can access properties through either dot or bracket notation. Okay, so uh, that's basically what we have. Uh, the first argument is a collection, and uh, a collection is really just an array of objects. So uh, you can see the first argument right here, and uh, we know it's an array because of the square braces. And then uh, in index zero, we have this object right here, and it's an object because of the curly braces. And at index one, or the second element, we have this object. And then the next object is this one, and the next object is this one. So, um, uh, what we have to do is um, we have to uh, look through this collection, this array of objects, and see whether or not all of the objects in this collection have uh, the property, um, in this case, the property uh, sex. Uh, and uh, and if it if it does if if all of the um, if uh, uh, all of the uh, objects have a property of uh, of that then uh, we're going to return uh, we're going to return true and uh, if if not all of them you know if all but one or you know if if only one um, I mean basically if anything less than a hundred percent of um, of all the objects um, if they don't have um, this predicate, then we have to return false. So, um, you know, they have some examples right here of, um, of what the different, you know, cases should return. Uh, so this first example, it should return uh, true because, look, uh, this first object has a has a uh, property called sex and it's equal to male, as does this one and this one and also this one. So all of the objects um, have this property, the second argument, so it has to return true. Now, if you take a look at um, the second argument, uh, the, for the second example, I'll zoom in for you. Um, all right, this one should return false. All right, so we still have the same predicate, sex. Okay, and all right, we have it here, but we don't have it in this object. Uh, we have it here, and we have it here. So all but one object has this uh, uh, property, uh, this object doesn't, so it has to return false because not all of them. Um, let's see, is there another example? Uh, there's a couple like tricky examples in here. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, here's another um, good example, something to think about. So uh, in this example, we're searching and making sure that all the prop all the objects have the on boat uh, property. So for the first object, we have it. Okay, there it is. And here it is again. Uh, and here, it uh, we have the property, but its value is null. So this should return false. Um, it, even though we have the property here, the value is null. So um, one way to um, one way to you know think about this is you know um, not only should the property exist in all of the objects, but its value uh, should be a, you know, truthy, uh, kind of like a truthy value. And null is a falsy value, so that's why in that example it returned false. So uh, anyway, uh, let's jump into the text editor now that we understand what the challenge is. I've already gone ahead and created my JavaScript file 20 everything be true.js and I went ahead and embedded that on line 11 of my example.html file and I have that open here in the Chrome browser and I'm going to get my um, developer tools ready specifically the JavaScript console if this is your first video that you're watching with me then then you know this is where we do uh, all of our work okay so um, there's a new array method that I want to show you today. I'm pretty sure that it's new. Uh, I don't think I've used it before. Let me just double check here. Um, let's see, have I used it before? Okay, it looks like we have used it before. Um, uh, back in the fourth um, 
the fourth intermediate challenge, uh, Where Art Thou? Uh, that was number four. So uh, if, you, if you don't remember that, um, go to the fourth challenge in this intermediate section, Where Art Thou? Uh, yep, there it is. It looks like I used the, um, the every method. Um, it's, it's a very similar uh, challenge. Uh, where Art Thou? You just saw here. We had to iterate uh, through um, an array uh, of objects, a collection, and uh, and essentially uh, we were doing the same thing. Um, we for this um, for this challenge we had to uh, not only see if an object had the property but the same value. Um, this challenge is um, is a little different. Uh, we only we only need to check if it has a um, it has a property which is the second argument and the value of that property it doesn't really matter so long as it is um, so long if it's a, a truthy value then then we don't care what it is all right so enough of that um, let's just get right into it so we're going to say return collection dot every and uh, that takes an anonymous function so let's call it that and um, it takes one required um, argument, um, the value of each um, uh, element of the array. So let's call it obj for short for object. Okay. And um, what goes in here is a, is a return statement. And, uh, and uh, basically, uh, it's going to run this test on each of the objects. And, um, and if, uh, if it passes the test, it'll return true. And then if all of the elements or all of the objects in this array passes true, then this uh, every method will return true. If, um, if not all of them pass it, if there's one that fails it, then it's going to return false. So um, we just have to um, really, uh, really return this um, obj. And uh, we're going to uh, put in the the key right here in um, in bracket notation. So um, remember, you can access the values of an object property either using the dot notation uh, or the bracket notation. Uh, but for this challenge, the dot notation wouldn't work because it's going to literally look for a um, property called pre. And um, we don't have any properties called pre. Pre is just a variable. It represents uh, this string right here. So um, you can access with dot notation. That won't work for this challenge. Uh, we have to use bracket notation. And uh, in a bracket notation, you can just drop in a string uh, or a variable that represents a string. And uh, that's what we have right here. So this would actually work. And uh, and this is how we access values in, um, in an object. So if an object doesn't have this property and we're trying to access it like this, it's going to probably return undefined. And if an object does have this property, but its value is falsy, it's going to return that falsy value. And, uh, and then it's going to be interpreted as false, failing the test with the every function. Um, and then, of course, if it has the property and uh, that value uh, that it has is a truthy value, then it's going to return true. And, um, and if all of them return true, then the every uh, function is going to return true to us. So let's save that. Let's refresh. We should get a nice true in the console, which we do. Awesome. I'm going to copy and paste this into free code camp and uh, actually how much time do we have oh, i got plenty of time um yeah let me just copy and paste and make it faster run that code long and prosper okay cool so it all works uh let's just run through it again since we have a, a ton of time left over and i'll just um, give you some white space there to make it uh, easier to read okay so we're calling the every method on the collection variable. A collection is an array. It's an array of objects. 
and we pass in an anonymous function, a callback function to the every method, and it takes a one required argument, in this case just the value of that array. Uh, I'm calling it obj because each value or each element of this array is an object, so it makes sense to call it obj or object or whatever. And we have to access the values of, uh, of, uh, of some properties in, uh, in each of the object. Um, just one property, actually. That property is represented, represented by this predicate, which is the second argument to this, uh, 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 to this function, truth check. And uh, if this property pre, if it's, a, if it's not in the object, it's going to return undefined. Undefined is a falsy value, so that'll uh, make this every uh, method return false. Uh, if it is in here, if the uh, property is in the current object, but the value is a falsy object, such as null, then that will also make this every um, method return false. But if the uh, property is in the object, if it's in all of the objects, and if, it, uh, if they all contain truthy values, then this every will return true to us. So um, yeah, again, uh, intermediate is such a funny section. Um, a few challenges ago, really, really, you know, crazy, difficult stuff with like math algorithms, but this one relatively easy, not saying it's easy, but relatively easy to wrap your head around this one. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know in the comments below. That's all for now, and I'll see you in the next video.